Um, when I was shuffling the cards out for you, what I see here is um, it's the city. Um, it's like the silhouette of the city. So it's a skyline. There we go. Skyline of a city. And it looks like a metropolitan city. And then I see this layer of fog kind of... Um, it, it was very heavy and it was like at the bottom of the skyline. And it's lifting upwards into the sky. It, it clears up and there's there are, you know, these stars and, and the moon. It's all coming out, illuminating the skyline. And um, what I feel, though, with this message is there's definitely a fog lifting in your life. There might have been a... a a situation where things were very hazy, fuzzy, you didn't have a clear sense of direction, and the, the fog just sort of, you know, lingered there for a really, really long time. For many of you, it might have been years, and you couldn't get the clarity on a situation. You couldn't understand, you couldn't make sense of it. And uh, now you have, you know, clarity. Now you have the visibility in front of you so you know how to proceed. Now you can see, like, you know, two feet in front of you. And so you can start planning things. You can start making things happen for yourself. And you have a clearer sense that you're on the right track, okay? Um, so overall, it looks good. Uh, the spread as well mirrors the energy in that uh, image that I saw. I feel like, let me talk about the relationship sector first, because um, if the foggy, the haziness dealt with a relationship partner in terms of where are we going with this relationship, when is it going to happen, when are we getting married, when are we moving in together, when are we establishing our family of our own, when and what timeline is all of this going to happen? So I feel like the skyline and the timeline um, imagery, I, I feel like the, those line up. So you were very, very concerned about a timeline. When is this going to happen? And are, are, are you able to promise me that it's going to happen? I feel like you're getting the confirmation from your partner that it is going to happen. Okay. And this is like, for those of you who have been seriously dating and you've had these conversations, I definitely feel like the fog is lifted. Your partner might've been down in the fog, down in the bogs and, uh, trying to, you know, um, secure a future for, for the two of you. And so they lacked a sense of direction, but this is the week where things are going to be made clear. There will be conversations had about the direction in this relationship and I feel like it is uh, taking off for the better or it's heading into a more stable uh, situation. So what I have here is the Ten of Coins and the Lovers and the Lovers is heading straight into the Ten of Coins, the Ten of Pentacles, which is a solid relationship, a house, um, a stable family structure. So I definitely see a traditional wedding for many of you a traditional wedding. I, I even see like the, the two different types of ceremony. One could be like a um, cultural ceremony for those of you who are um, of a different culture. And then one might be in the church, you know, like um, tr stereotypical standard um, church wedding. So I definitely see like a cultural ceremony as well as a church wedding. Um, and receptions and things like that, of course, but I, I feel like one place serves like more traditional food and then the other place serves more like, you know, what you would find at a standard uh, wedding banquet. So you have a partner where the two of you are amassing together. It's like a power couple. You're both amassing uh, a lot of wealth. So with your combined income, things look really, really, really good. And I also feel like, you know, you're at a point and your partner's at a point where financially you're very stable. So you want to settle down. You want to have a family. You want to build things up from the ground and you want to leave a legacy behind. So whatever oppositions you have faced, whatever lack of clarity or uncertainty you have been dealing with for the past few years with this relationship partner, you're going to get your wishes fulfilled and you're going to get the stability, the promise, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you, you're letting other people interfere in your relationships. 
parents might not approve of a, a person that you're dating and you kind of need to let that go okay cut the umbilical cords and just let that go because you're dating that person no one else is so their opinions don't shouldn't matter um, I don't feel like they're approaching this from a place of love like they're they're not telling you you know don't date that person because you know he or she is a drunkard or um, an addict like they're not approaching it from a place where they care about your well-being there's nothing wrong with the person that you're dating but for whatever reason um, the family member might interfere in the relationship out of jealousy not so much out of jealousy that I guess of your uh, I guess like of you but more so because your t your partner is taking time uh, away from them okay it's it, it's like you're spending a lot of time with your partner and you're spending less time with a family member and so the family member is lashing out in a resentful way like you're not uh, spending enough time with me this person is hogging all of your time therefore he or she is not a good person so I feel like they're speaking from a place of abandonment and envy I hope that makes sense so don't mind don't mind that energy and especially you know uh, who cares what people say you love who you love and you're going to do it anyways I, I feel like you're going to you know date whoever you want anyways however I do feel like you know the bottom line is the people we care about their opinions matter a lot to us but if it's coming from a place of jealousy and resentment and abandonment don't pay any attention to it okay preserve your relationship um, I'm feeling as well some of you you have a little bit of a blast from the past here I see a water sign so this is a Pisces a Cancer or a Scorpio uh, very little change has happened okay since you last broke up with them be aware of that so whatever the reason that you guys broke up in the first place and I feel like it, it's lack of reciprocity lack of emotional investment so it could be from your end or from their end but I feel like it might be from their end they might not be able to match the level of your investment in them and they might not be able to match your level of intensity they might not be as straightforward with their feelings as you are or they might not be as affectionate and as committed as you would hope so whatever the reason was that you guys broke up in the past they haven't changed much there is a second chance with this person but I feel like they haven't really changed much so getting back together you can have fun for a short period of time the same problems will resurface I feel many of you have gotten older and wiser and so you have the tools at your disposal to I guess tackle the issues this time around you definitely can do that but the other person hasn't changed much so I just want you to reiterate that and I feel like you're you're still gonna go for it even if you're watching this and even if it resonates you're still gonna go for it because you know that is you, you follow your heart and I definitely feel you have the tools this time around to um, handle the situation, to deal with the situation, and to uh, resolve a lot of conflict between the two of you. Uh, but just keep in mind, you know, um, keep have your expectations be realistic. Okay. Um, I see travel for many of you and I feel like um, like that skyline I saw earlier the the metropolitan city um, going to a place with a lot of lights watching the stars watching fireworks possibly watching the the night sky watching um, like lights on a bridge or lights over water like sparkling on the water so you're gonna be doing a lot of sightseeing this week and I, I feel like you know it's it's a very romantic ambience that I'm feeling you might be doing this with a partner you might be um, 
like traveling a lot with a partner they could be traveling to see you you could be traveling to see them but I see like lights sparkling on the water so going to a place where you know it's like by the coast or over a lake or by a river and I'm, I'm also seeing like um, like a restaurant on a on a body of water where you can watch the lights and and uh, sparkle it's really romantic and I, I definitely see like you're not there alone you're definitely with like a love interest or a romantic interest or a relationship partner what I'm feeling as well uh, with this energy about the fog lifting the fog is rising it's it's like it was very dense and so it it rested near the ground and then it's like rising and moving up into the sky so it's definitely clearing up but I see this this uh, imagery about rising so what I do feel though is um, your standards and your expectations have really risen okay um, I see a lot of growth and a lot of, um, like I mentioned earlier, older and wiser. What you used to tolerate in people, you don't tolerate anymore. You're getting definitely um, like just older and wiser and you're a lot more discerning about what types of behavior you put up with. You're definitely you're definitely coming into a sense of I, I feel like um, having a, a being able to figure people out faster and then being very curt about behaviors or things that you won't tolerate in other people so I, I definitely feel this energy here about you know um, expressing yourself and being able to especially like selfishness from other people not tolerating it and if somebody is going to exhibit very selfish or just you know self-absorbed behavior you're going to mirror that back at them and um, I, I feel like this is coming in from people who are very opportunistic they might have you know come to you and taken from you or they might have like uh, pretended to be your friend and all they did was take 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 and when you need them they were never around so I, I feel like you're closing off that that um, that door to allow them to come into the picture and I feel like it's more friendship related okay like fake friends I, I feel like you know who they are and I also feel for many of you, you hang out in very large groups. So it's like you have a large group of friends and you might have mutual friends with one another or, you know, like you've accumulated friends since childhood and they've accumulated friends. So when you hang out, it's like a, a, a big group. And when you have like um, get together, there's a big group. So you have your solid core group of friends, but then there are also friends that they have that you might not have always jived well with but you've always been very cordial but I definitely see some things coming to light about you know this person is not very generous or this person is a taker or this person is um, is or this person is just you know manipulative or whatever the situation is so I feel like you've always seen it but you've always been cordial because they are a friend of your friend so this is the the week where I feel like you're gonna make your feelings known and you're gonna be closing your emotions off to this person because they 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 have proven time and time again that they're not going to you know be the person that you want to, in your life okay um, yeah, I, I see a lot of travel, a lot of movement with this spread. And I feel like, you know, you, you need to get away. I, I don't know why, but I feel like the work situation hasn't been too great. Um, I see a little bit of isolation in the work environment, not feeling like that sense of camaraderie, not feeling like you belong, not feeling like you're 
you stand out in some way. And Aries, you guys have to stand out in some way for you to feel at peace at home and, and to feel like, you know, you belong. So I, I, I feel this element about, you know, work has got you down. Um, and I feel like, you know, your refuge might be home, might be family, might be, you know, your lovers, your significant other, uh, your friends, and especially traveling, looking at new sites, uh, looking at new, new things and being able to see new horizons, new, new ventures, and especially new things that you can work towards. Um, whatever it is with family members as well, you know, you love them, but they, <laughs> you you have really strong person. The people in your family, family, they have really strong, uh, personalities. I see kind of like if you ever get together with your family, everyone has an opinion. Everyone has an opinion. No one's very passive or even passive aggressive. Everyone likes to tell each other what to do. Everyone's really bossy. Everyone's just very highly opinionated. And, uh, you know, so of course they're going to tell you like down to what to wear. They're going to tell you, you know, you should, you should not date who uh, such and such. You should not wear this. You should not wear that. You should do this. You should do that. So, you know, it's, it's all, it's just something that they do because they have very, very strong opinions. But it's hard for you not to take it to heart. I feel like, you know, you're going to do what you're going to do, but it's really hard for you to not take it to heart, especially when somebody says it. So uh, with such conviction, right? The, the most convincing things that people can do is, you know, um, uh, it, they can convince through their sheer sense of conviction. So it's not so much the information that's presented. It's just the way that they, they present the information. It's the, the tone, the attitude, the demeanor. So it makes you feel like, hey, maybe they're right. But no, stick to your guns. You're, you're with this person for a reason. And I, I just feel like, you know, family interfering in everything. Um, family interfering. Some of you come from like blended families, you know, stepmom, stepdad, step siblings, and, and things like that. Others of you, I feel like there might have been like a divorce um, situation too, where you have children with an ex, and then you have to kind of um, co parent. So it, it, it can get a little bit messy. I wouldn't say messy, just complicated. It is complicated, right? And it's challenging. We don't want to step on people's toes. They don't want to step on your toes. So it can get like, dif it can become difficult. So I, I just feel like, you know, there's just a lot of people meddling. Um, I'm also feeling as well, I, I started talking about this and then I got sidetracked, um, raising your standards, okay? So once again, this um, I started saying you are um, getting older and wiser. So I feel like whatever you tolerated in the past with relationship partner, you're not tolerating anymore. And so I'm taken back to this person who is coming back into the picture and I just feel like, yes, you can work at things because now you have a lot more self-awareness. Um, you will behave differently to make sure the relationship work. But if the other person hasn't changed, then we're going around in circles. So I feel like the relationship needs to be worked at by both people, not just you. You can force it. You can try to single-handedly force it or you can, you know single-handedly try to make it work but if the other person is has not changed or if is not 100 percent on board it's not going to work out so i i just feel like i have to mention that again because it's all about this this rise this ascension you have to set a better precedent you have to set a higher bar for yourself and so going back to the person from the past I just feel like it's a merry-go-around. 
Um, I'm also saying, seeing, um, waving goodbye to some people, okay? Like, I, I can no longer have you in my life. You're a taker. I can no longer tolerate your selfishness. I can no longer tolerate your behavior, the the um, the attention seeking, the um, like withholding affection out of resentment and you know jealousy and things like that, like control issues as well. Like I don't feel like you're putting up with that. And in the past, you might have thought, you know, oh, this person is jealous that I was with somebody else or I was um, out with my friends. And, you know, it was adorable. It was cute. It showed me that they care about me. But now you're realizing, no, that's manipulation. That's control issues. That's not and healthy. I'm not going to be in it. But I feel like it, it took, you know, multiple tries for you to come to this point where you realize and you can really identify and label things and and. And kind of accept things for what they are, which is good. Like seeing the situation for what it is. And you're a lot more, I feel like, protected when it comes to your heart as well. Not giving your heart away, you know, on the first date. Okay? Not giving your heart away. Like, um, not falling head over heels, swept off your feet, madly in love with somebody after a first date. So you're becoming a lot more calm, a lot more self-contained, a lot more discerning and discriminate and just moving a little bit slower because you have this space of self-awareness. In the past, I rushed in and I get burnt. So now I'm going to, you know, be a little bit more like go with the flow, see how things pan out and not give my heart away so fast. So I definitely see a slowing down in that energy but it looks good overall. Um, it's like, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So you're going to get there. And if that person jives well with you, and if they're going to be the right person for you, they're still going to be there first to the last date. Okay. They're still going to be around. So don't rush into situations. Don't kind of, um, when we get swept off our feet, when we like fall so madly in love, it tends to be with the wrong person because we haven't taken the time to really get to know them before we give a heart away. So I feel like you're definitely being protective of your heart. Um, for those who are single and dating, be a little bit more discerning this week. Okay, Things are not what they seem. And I feel like by the end of the week, you're going to start to see that fog lifting. So be a little bit discerning. For those in relationships, I definitely see an escalation in the love, in the commitment, in the, the, the planning of the next step in this relationship. So it looks really beautiful. Um, Aries, I hope you enjoy your week. Um, I will see you guys soon and uh, best of luck with everything.